Is it live? Okay, five seconds. Hello. Let me put some Carmex on before people start showing up because my lips are a little dry. A lot of dry. If you guys can hear the music in the background, Devin's doing the dishes in the kitchen, and that's why. I'm just gonna wait for people to show up before I start getting into stuff. Maybe I should post that I went live. Okay. So I went to the thrift store this week and it was my first time going to the thrift store in two weeks. I spent like $66. Hi, Sue. You are the first one here. <laughs> Hello, Mimi. I spent like $66. I don't know where my receipt is, um, but I really didn't spend a lot of money. It was my first time going in two weeks and I they open at 11 and I didn't go until like four. So it was pretty picked over, but that's okay. Um, so I don't know how the turnout's going to be tonight because I didn't go live last week and I've just been real inconsistent. I'm sorry. Life happens. But I'm just going to start going through these. Um, okay. And I got all of these from my favorite thrift store that I go to every Sunday, pretty much every Sunday. Mm. Hello. Hi, Judy. Um, okay, so this is the first item I got. Nothing crazy. It's Lane Bryant. It's a size 16. And it is just an open front blue. It's not open front. I just completely lied. Um, it's a button front, actually. And it's a cute little jacket. It's an extra large. It would probably fit me, but I need the money more than I need a new jacket. But I pick that up. Hello, yours truly by Jay. Yeah, I don't know if the notification went out like super late. I was sitting here like, nobody's coming to my live tonight. I should just shut my YouTube channel down now. Um, sorry, mouth dry. Hello, Asia. Hi, Abby, Maria. For real, eh, for real girl 42. What's your real name? If you care to give me that. <laughs> Hello, Liv, Carissa. Um, yeah, I think it sent out the notification like super late. Um, but this is just my thrift haul. I do these most Mondays at 6 p.m. And I just show you guys the items I bought last week from the thrift store to resell. I'm on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Um and sometimes on Trade Z, but that's pretty much it. A lot of people ask me, like, do I post all of my items everywhere? And I currently do. I have an eBay subscription, so I get 250 listings, and I don't post more than 200 items a month. Um, but I do post everything everywhere. So it goes to Mercari and eBay and Poshmark. Um, hello, everybody. Hi, Valerie and Jilly. Okay, for real girl, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Um, this is the second item I got. This is another Lane Bryant item. I think they were donated by the same person because it's the same size and a similar style. This is a blue open front blazer jacket, extra large. Um, there are deodorant marks on the inside. I buy lots of blazers and one thing you have to check for is deodorant marks and ripped linings. There are so many blazers I've brought home that have been just covered in deodorant and just have like the whole lining's ripped. What is that dot right there? Is that from that light? Devin, yeah. can you please turn off uh, the dining room light or my office light? It's like making this weird glare. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Brenda. So, um, yeah, when you buy blazers, check for the deodorant. I bought this and I knew there was deodorant. I'm just going to wash it. Um, and if the deodorant doesn't come out, I'll just disclose that. Sell it for a cheaper price. I'm still going to make a profit. Um, check for deodorant and ripped linings. This basket 
are all items I took photos of. They are not listed yet though. Um, if you're interested in anything, let me know. I'll shout you out a price. I can send you um, an invoice through PayPal um, if you're interested. I'm trying to read these. Work isn't, that's so good because I know you'd be stressed out at work. Also, did you get your package? Because Devin dropped it off. Um, so this is new at Tags Boohoo and it's Boohoo Plus. They count a size 12 as a plus size, uh, I guess. Um, but I'll take it. I didn't pay too much for this. I'll buy Boohoo if it's new at Tags and if it's a bigger size. And it's cute. It's this long black duster jacket and it's like a crepe material. And it has these large gold buttons. This will probably get listed around like 2025. Oh, this, that got listed today, but I already showed those in a video. Um, I bought this and I'm really conflicted on it. I bought it because it was 80 cents. It's a Banana Republic blazer and it's, I don't think this is herringbone. I, I think this might just be like chevron. I don't know. Um, but it has this velvet trim and I really, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. The pictures look really nice though. And I like the black contrasting velvet trim. And then it has like this fringe detail along, um, the edges, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it does. I already showed you guys these. They just got listed today. So they're in this bin. <sighs> Hello, everybody. I'm so happy so many people came because I was sitting here for like the first minute and a half. Like, nobody's going to fucking show up. I'm going to be here by myself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I count. I usually do 18 and up because an 18 is like a 1X, which is what I, I am. Um, but since Poshmark counts a 16 as plus size, I'm just like, I'm just going to put on my 16 in my plus size bin. Um. Rub the deodorant stain with a microfiber cloth and it will come out and then just wash it. Thank you. I will definitely try that. So I got this. This is H&M. I, uh, I wouldn't say H&M sells fast or well for me, but they just have some really cute shit. And for the price, I just, I just can't leave it at the thrift store. Okay. I'm just going to admit that. So I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend picking H&M up. But this is super cute. It's a brown plaid double button blazer. Um, the pockets are not real. It's just that little flap. But I think the blazer is super cute. And then look at that. Come on now. It has a faux suede elbow patch. I like this. I think it's so cute. I'm probably going to list it for 28 I got a lot of skirts because I love my skirts. This is Ann Taylor Loft. And it is an 8 Petite. There goes the tag. And it's this cute little like plum circle skirt. Nothing crazy. I got it super cheap. I get all my skirts super cheap, which is why I pick up so much of them. Because nobody else wants to list them, and that's okay. Um, like like uh, the same with that. I wouldn't say they sell necessarily fast. But when I do sell them, it's such a great return on investment that it just doesn't make sense for me to not buy them. Even if I have to wait. a deodorant sponge on Amazon. I'm going to screenshot that because maybe I need to check that out. Do I think sales will slow down due to Christmas? Well, my sales have been shitty the last week. <laughs> so my sales aren't necessarily fast. Uh, last week was so bad, but last week was so bad in my personal life. So nothing got done financially with my business. It was just all to the wayside. I only worked 22 hours last week and the week before that I worked 37 like last week she was a rough one she was a rough fucking week I feel like I've said it a lot but my sales like dropped so like I had three zero dollar days last week and then yesterday I had a zero dollar day <laughs> oh it's funny to me I don't even care it's why stress about it why stress about it I'm not doing it so um let me read these um 
Can we rally to get plus size band? Can we not just have sizes? I feel you, but I also don't think being plus size or the word plus size is a bad thing, so I don't really mind it. Um, just a little extra. Is there a stain on my shirt? I thought that was a stain. Maybe it's the way the light caught it. I was about to be really nervous if I just had a big stain on my shirt and I was just on here talking to y'all. Um, maybe do this. All right, so this is Michael Michael Kors. I pretty much always pick it up if it's trendy and cheap enough. Usually sells over twenty dollars. Usually don't pay more than three for it. So this is a size eight, and it's an animal print skirt. And this skirt is so cute. I sold a Vince Camuto animal print skirt. So I don't think I'm going to have a problem selling this. It has this cute crossover detail. It has like some darting and pleating, whatever you want to call it. Was not a fashion design major. Um, and yeah, it's just like a cute little pencil skirt. <clears throat> Shit. There's something stuck in my throat. I think everyone is broke right now after buying gifts. Yes, same. Big mood. Definitely agree. Wait for kids to get Christmas money. They'll be posting. Poshing. <laughs> I sold more on Poshmark this week than I have anywhere else. Look at you, Brenda. Okay. So you were right about Mercari this week. 2019 will be better for all of us, girl. I sure hope so. We can hope on that. Uh, this is Ann Taylor Loft. This is a super old tag, but I got it for cheap, and it's cute, and it's a 12. So, and it is this plaid. I don't... It has like just the slightest flair to it. So I'm not going to put it under pencil skirt, but I honestly like, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a circle skirt. We'll see. This is a tag. It's old as hell. So uh, just a little FYI. She's, you know, she's a little mature. She's a little mature tag, but that's fine because this is so cute and it's a large. Somebody's definitely going to buy this. Uh, I, I've been listing things on eBay for much cheaper than anywhere else because I feel like people on eBay, like people talk about people on Poshmark and Mercari being cheap. People on eBay are really cheap as fuck. So I feel like my skirts, like I did sell two $30 skirts there, but like everything else is just like sitting no likes, no views, nothing. I like, I don't know. It's weird. But then I have to remember, everybody doesn't like skirts like me. <laughs> and, and that's just what it is. I wish everybody did. Um, this is an extra small and it's so fucking cute. It's H&M. And it's this brown. Oh my God, it's so fucking cute. Look how cute this is. It's this brown. <sighs> I just want it to be my size, but this is like maybe my thigh. Probably not. Uh, it's this brown faux leather, or you can say vegan leather, and you can tap into a whole different demographic of people. So I'm about to start doing that because since I cross list for people, I notice a lot of people are using vegan leather instead of faux leather. And I think it's because that's kind of like, you know. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Veganism is like kind of like a thing, eating healthy. So I'm going to use that. And it's just so fucking cute. Like, look at that gold zipper. So what the hell? Wish it was my size, but it's an extra small. It's sickening. I love it. I got this. This is Talbot's and it's a size 14. Great size. Here goes the tag. Thomas does have date tags. I have. I didn't even look at this one. It was so cheap. Put that shit in my cart. And it's this black skirt, and it has kind of like a satin finish. It's really long, but I think it's the great. It's it's the great holiday skirt. What the fuck? I think it would be a great holiday skirt, and it's so cute. It wasn't fun taking pictures of this. I will say that. And I had to lint roll it about five times because I hate it when you can see lint in people's photos. Like, girl, if you don't lint roll the fucking item, I do not want to see all that lint. No, ma'am. Are you sending it to me with all that lint? Did not buy that. Too much. Hello, Amber. I haven't even read the comments. Look, I'm not shit. Um... Loft sells so well for me. I love selling loft, but my loft shit's been sitting. I don't know what's going on. 
I sold more on eBay in two weeks than I have on Poshmark in five months. Jesus, Lord. I sold, I think it's crazy because I sold $400 on eBay last month. And that was more than Mercari. And I list way more on Mercari. I drop way more prices on Mercari. I don't know. Mercari, she's cheap. The girl's cheap. I don't, I don't know. People want stuff for free on eBay. Yes. Like you want 99 cents in free shipping. People are fucking ridiculous over there. Um, we just lost a 189 case on eBay. So I'm done with that. Ooh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Lord. Um, sorry. I'm just reading these Two, 2019 posh goals. <sighs> To have enough money to where I don't have to go work for nobody. That's my goal. That's one of the only goals. Hello, Cheryl Ross. Why, why does your name have like a check mark next to it? What does that mean? Sorry, I'm just curious. I have no idea what that means. I've never seen that before. Um, that sucks that they lied about that. People are ridiculous. I had this guy return something on eBay talking about, it just smells like smoke. There's just no way I can get the smell out. Sir, what are you talking about? Why are you lying to me? Just just say just say you didn't want to just, just give me my sweater back. Just be honest with me. I told him, I said, you can return the sweater. I'm not paying the postage back. So you want to pay the eight bucks to send it back to me? Go right ahead. He paid me the eight dollars and then I sold it for more on eBay with his cheap ass and his lying ass. Like, sir, you know the sweater didn't smell like smoke. Stop playing with me. <sighs> oh my goodness, thank you so you're you're so nice. You did not have to do that. You have bought so many things for me this year. And I hope you like the extra gifts I put in your box. Um and I hope they fit. Thank you so much. Let me button this before I show you guys it. Thank you, Valerie. Like, girl, stop. Listen, my week was rough for many reasons, none of which were my control, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, last week was just really bad. This guy I graduated with died, and that's just like, oh, Lord. Like, and I just graduated a couple years ago. Like, so... Last week was, she was a tough one. We gonna make it though. Thank you so much, Valerie. Thank you so much. You said, here's a latte. I'll probably buy more fuzzy socks. Honestly, I've been buying a lot of them. It's been bad. <laughs> I just love them so much. Um, okay. I'm just reading these. I ain't sold shit on Poshmark in two months. Poshmark's been so slow for me right now. Like, last week was good. I mean, I think last week wasn't good, though, because obviously I wasn't working as much. But I was still working minimum three hours a day. But then again, I do count my cross-listing. And I usually cross-list for at least, um, at least an hour a day. So... Yeah, that's so weird that you have a check mark. I have no idea what that means. Um, you should just tell people you're verified. <laughs> that's what I would do. You don't know who I am? I'm Cheryl Ross. Like, that's why I have the check mark. Um, so this is new with tags, $139. I don't know who was paying $139 for this. Somebody just messaged me on Mercari 12. Use the offer button. Like the developers made it for a reason. I have it listed at 21 and you're talking about some 12 and it's free shipping. But I did buy it for myself. How much does it weigh? Sorry, y'all. We got to make this money. I made no sales today. I have ship on your own. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to deal with them later. They should have used the offer button and then I would have just hit accept. But now you want me to type back to you. You're going to have to wait. Um, so, yeah, I don't know who's paying $139 for this. I think it's definitely vintage. It is... Chelsea Campbell Petites, 100% wool, size 14. And it's just a houndstooth single button blazer serving the girls. Trendy vintage. Okay. Oh, I got this tie. It's a Joss A. Bank 
not a relevant brand. Um, but it's so nice. It's a tartan print tie, and this is like a perfect holiday tie. So I needed to get that listed like yesterday. Um, I'll probably list that for like 20. Sorry, I'm just reading. Oh my goodness, Valerie, you've made 20,000 on Tracy? Jesus. Um, so this is, I, maybe that's what it means. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know because like when the video ends, it tells me like how many new people subscribed, um, what was the average watch time? What was the highest amount of people that were watching? And I'll usually get like one or two new people that subscribe. Um, but I don't, yeah, that's so weird. Okay, so this is London Fog. I don't know what print this is, but it's really cute. Listen, if she was my size, I would not be showing you her. <laughs> But, oh my goodness, oh my god, it's so cute. Look how cute this is. It's like a belted trench coat, and it has pockets and large buttons, and it's like this, like, pinky brown color. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, what size is this? I love it, though. I think it's vintage London Fog, because, like, what the hell is that tag? You're not going to see that at Burlington. Um, oh, it's a size 8. It's polyester and combed cotton. Ooh. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. I got that. I always go through the coats because a lot of people don't want to go through them because they're harder to store and take photos of and people don't like shipping them. You want to know who will do all that? I will. Because the profits on coats are great. Let me open this other bag. Um, okay, so, oh, I set these here and didn't even show you guys. These are Bandolino. Nothing special. I got them because they were really cheap. And they're just like these silver, um, loafers. Yeah. And they're damn near brand new. Maybe somebody tried them on, but there's like, yeah, just that little tiny mark right there. I got this. This is, I think it's Ann Klein. Yeah, Ann Klein, size 8. And I know the fabric on it is really good. It's 60% Angora and 40% wool. It is super soft. And it is a long gray coat. Yeah. Nothing like too crazy, no crazy details. It's just made of really good quality fabric and it's super soft and there's no thinning on it. So that was great. I got this because I looked on completely and um, I think the average sale price was like $30 for this. It's called Wisp. If you guys can see that and it looks like it's sold through Stitch Fix. And it's just this pink, what is that, a three-fourth sleeve dress. I don't know what this print is. Baroque, that's usually what I put. This isn't Paisley, that's for damn sure. I'll probably just put Baroque print. I cannot see. Is it Claire or Sierra? I cannot tell if that's an L or an I, but hello, and I'm happy you caught me live as well. I've never had a pair of fry boots. I really wish I could find a pair of uh, free birds. Probably not going to happen, though. I'd say Baroque, too. Thank you. Um... I will definitely use that as a keyword. This is Gap. It's a size medium, and it's this mustard yellow 
corduroy jacket. I thought it was just cute and trendy and a great color. I love mustard. Um, I'm a really big fan of corduroy right now, but it's hard to find corduroy for my big ass, especially secondhand. Um, so I don't have any of it yet, but it's showing up. I don't know. The camera's making it look dingy, but I promise it's not. But it's really cute. Oh, I got this, and this just gives me, like, so much Shop Desire Lux. If you guys know who she is, let me throw her Instagram in here. You guys should be following her. Her feed is perfect. She's super sweet. But this jacket definitely made me think of her. It's a size medium. And it's this brown jacket and it has a sweater sleeve and this shirling fabric and then it has this cute little zipper and this little belt detail at the bottom it's so cute though it's a size medium and it's by design history and I know their stuff is a little bit more expensive I remember when I worked at clothes matter their stuff came up higher in the system than a lot of brands but I don't remember like what their retail price is or anything Oh, so I got this and took a chance on it. It's casual corner and it's vintage. So it's a size 14, which is an extra large. Um, for vintage, I always mention in the description that it is vintage and that you have to take into account that the uh, sizing might be a little bit different. So I definitely always, I include measurements with all of my listings, but I thought this was really cute. It reminds me of like how blazer dresses are trendy right now. And, I mean, if you were, like, a size medium, you could wear this as a blazer dress. Um, but I just think it's so cute. And I hope somebody buys it and gets some wear out of it. I only have a couple items left. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm saying that. And you guys are probably like, what are you surprised about? Nothing. <laughs> um, let me just read these. What's my favorite sandwich? I don't know. I, I just like fried eggs. I eat a lot of fried eggs. I don't really care too much for sandwiches. This is Banana Republic. It's a size 8. And it's just this blue dress. Nothing, nothing fancy or special, just a blue dress. And then this is the last item. This is Liz Claiborne, New York, probably vintage Liz Claiborne. Um, definitely not newer. That's not her recent tag. And it's a size 12 and it is a blue and green. Oh shit. It's new with tags. $179. JC Penney's always been out there rabbit ass mine um but it says 179 dollars and it says tartan on here i i knew that this was tartan but now i'm 100 percent green and blue tartan print single button blazer new with tags jc penny's wanted way too damn much i don't even pay attention to the msrps really because they're all made up so I don't think they really determine too much of a worth. Not all the time. That's it though. Does anybody have any questions before I go? This wasn't that long. Look at that. Only 28 minutes. Uh, please like this video if you would like me to continue doing these live videos. Um, what else do I have to say? Thank you, Thrifted Culture. <sighs> Which jacket do you want? Let me know. I started rolling through them at the end. <laughs> Have I ever had anybody correct my descriptive words? No. I probably mark it as spam and just ignore them. I don't let shit get under my skin too much no more. There's too much going on for me to be mad about little minor stuff um what's on my christmas list 
Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I would just sue. Listen, Sue's going to make me freaking ban her from my channel because she's always giving me super chats. Thank you so much, Sue. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. I appreciate that. Every, every time, Sue, she comes through. I can, I can never repay you enough. I appreciate it so much. You have no idea. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just reading these. Um, really, it's nothing on my Christmas list. Me and Devin, we are just doing stockings. Uh, I filled his stocking already. It's all, it's all done. I mean, I'm not buying him anything else. Um, and then I got my sister some stuff, both my sisters, and I got my mom some stuff, and I got my godson some stuff, and I got Devin's niece, um, a black baby alive doll, and it's so cute. I cannot wait for her to get it. Thank you, Thrifted Culture. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are really sweet. I do hope this week is a lot better than last week. Last week was a lot. She was trying us to <laughs> say. <laughs> to say the least um she was trying all my patience but things will get better I just tell myself that bad times are waves and that with my bipolar that it's all just a wave and that it's gonna get better and not every day is gonna be a bad day so um that's what I tell myself to get through all that anxiety because last week really she was testing me um, thank you, Boutique Becky. You guys are really nice. Thank you. Fried egg on a sandwich sounds great. Devin's making shrimp right now for dinner for me and Natalia. So I appreciate him. He is 10 out of 10 best boyfriend ever <laughs> compared to the rest. Lord. Um, I hope you guys have a really great night. Please thumbs up this video on the way out. Tomorrow I'm going to be filming a, uh, a get ready with me and I'll be answering like the Q&A video, the Q&A questions that you guys gave me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's the same as it, as it is on here. Fuck, I'm stumbling over all my words. It is the same as it is on here at Shailene Sean on Instagram if you want to follow me there. I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you guys for a great Monday night. Thank you guys for the super chats. It means the world to me. Uh, thank you guys for the thumbs ups. And I will definitely try to be here next Monday. Christmas is like Wednesday. <laughs> but I'll try to be here Monday. I mean, we work from home. So I know even though we're busy, usually we we can find time if we want to I know I <laughs> so I will be here next Monday for the most hopefully God willing um but yeah thumbs up the video on your way out subscribe if you're not subscribed you're here anyways you think I'm funny you like my hauls I'm giving you great information uh, subscribe you know <laughs> sometimes you gotta pat yourself on the back um but yeah I'll be here next Monday so I can tell you guys happy holidays and all that then. Uh, I'm going to go. Bye. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your night. I hope you guys have great sales. And thank you so much, Sue. Stop sending me money, Sue. But thank you, Sue. <laughs> I appreciate you so much, Sue. Because every Monday, I'm just like, Sue is rich. <laughs> Good night, guys.